practice. We were talking about something that I think is a really good because people always think that video games are frivolous. But what, what you were saying, I think that's really important is it, it it's so difficult that it requires you to only think about that, and it can like relieve stress. Yeah, it can take out the rest of the world because it's so hard. Yeah, you can only think about that. Yeah, I mean, if I like, if I play a video game on extreme difficulty, then um, I have to concentrate fully on the game, um, and it it's it has. It, a calming effect. Yeah, uh, it sort of, sort of chills down. Um, and uh, I mean, you mentioned I think, and, and many people like if you play martial arts or you, you play yes. pool, uh, yes. like something that that forces you. It, it's like I think any anything that forces you to concentrate fully um, actually has a it has a calming effect. I find it just sort of like um, kind of a, a mental a restoring effect. Mentally. Yeah, it's like it's good. Jiu-jitsu is um, like that. Yeah. Uh, archery is like that as well. Yeah. Like when you're shooting a, a bow, you have to. It's, there's so many. I was watch. I was reading this study about surgeons, yeah. where they found that surgeons who regularly play video games make less errors. Well, it's. It, it, I mean, video games require manual dexterity, so yeah. uh, it makes sense. Completely makes I mean, sense. I, actually, I, if, if somebody was like ever good video games, uh, I'd, tr- I'd say like the, the surgical skills can be very good because in order to be good at video games, any kind of fast reaction video games. Look at this, 32% uh, you... fewer errors, 24% yeah. faster, and scored 26% better overall than their non-player colleagues. Oh, I believe that for That's sure. That's incredible. Well, then like they... that, you should be required in medical school to play video games. <laughs> I, I, Don't if, you if think? So, if somebody's like top, a top-ranked video game player and they say they're a surgeon, I'd be like, Plus, plus one, plus two type of thing. Oh, top rank for sure. Well, because, but this but, isn't even top rank. This is just people who play. Well, you, your, your manual dexterity has to be extremely high. Yes. So you're, you're, you're looking at things on the screen. You've got, you're reacting, and, and you know, sometimes you've got like 10 milliseconds to react. Yes. Um, and um, Imagine if there was a yeah. course that you could take. That right. course would promote, you would be 26% better. Yeah. Everyone would have to take that course. Sure. Why would you want a surgeon that's less prepared? You would I, say, it, "Hey, Bob, did yeah. you take this course? You didn't take this course. Don't you understand? This course makes you twenty six percent better." Sure. You would have to take it. Everyone should have to play video games. Yeah. If you want to be a surgeon. Well, I think it'd be, it would be certainly would be a very good <laughs> test to see if, if somebody can't play video games well. Like that means, I mean, because you've got to move both hands simultaneously. Right. You've got to react to something very fast, then um, on the screen. So, and and, and if, if your keystrokes or your mouse clicks or whatever are wrong, uh, then you lose the game. Uh, right. So. If somebody's like has a good rank in video games, I would say that their manual de- necessarily their manual dexterity must be very, extremely good. Well, it's so their fine hard. motor skills have to be excellent. If you think about like StarCraft or any any game, and then we would would all start playing video games and p- playing Quake against yeah, each yeah. other, and I got addicted, yeah. like hardcore. Like I got hardcore. a T one line installed in my house. <laughs> yeah. I went hardcore. Yeah, you're exactly. You're checking how many milliseconds of latency. Oh you have yeah, and, I was yeah. I was fully addicted. I was making my own computers. I yeah, was yeah. G- going to Fry's Hardware and buying motherboards yeah. and putting everything together and. You know, it was too much of a time suck, though. Yeah. I'm an obsessive person. I can't get involved. Like, I can't yeah. play golf. No, it's too, golf is too slow for me. I mean, I know a lot of people find golf good. And I mean, I guess if you think of it like it's, it, I guess if you're saying you're going to walk outdoors with friends yes. and occasionally hit a ball, then, and, and you just, and as an outdoor walk, then that's cool. Um, and it does require concentration when you're hitting the ball, but it, it's, it's it's a it's th- it's too slow for me. Nothing but, compares to video games in terms of like the amount of feedback you get, like yeah. the, the 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 sensory overload you get when you're looking yeah. at a large high. But but for me the the the, uh, the, inten- the intensity of video games is uh, hard to beat. Yes, it's uh, and the people dismiss it because they think it's just a waste of time. But we're showing like real world benefits of people playing video games. Yeah. If you want to be a drone operator, it's the only game in town. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. You have to really good at video games. Yeah. Um, for sure. So, um, in fact, I, I can actually tell uh, like what my me- mental acuity is uh, if I just play, if I play a very hard video game. So, if I'm trying to sort of get like a, a, an extremely good clear time in Diablo or something like that. Um, or, or it, any, you know, a first-person shooter, whatever the case may be. Like, if I, I can tell that I'm tired, uh, or my, my brain's not working as well as it should, it's it's like a it's like a mental calibration. You can tell immediately, mm. like, what is what what how how good is your mental state? Right, <laughs> right. Um, and uh, you know, so it's like your brain does kind of recover from bad nights of sleep a little bit. Do you know what really helps? Creatine, apparently. Does it? Yeah, creatine is actually a nootropic, believe it or not. There's a lot of like benefits okay. of creatine that I are mean, really weird. Are there any downsides? 
No, no, it's a it. natural part of food. Yeah, yeah, especially women. For okay. for women, apparently, especially postmenopausal women, it's very beneficial. Okay, and uh, it, 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 there's but there's a lot of like cognitive benefits, and one of the big ones that they found recently is performance when sleep deprived. Huh. Mental okay. performance when sleep deprived impre- increases pretty measurably when you supplement with creatine. Is creatine naturally occurring in like steak or? Yeah, it's like naturally occurring in meat. I think. I think that's where it's coming from. I think it's a pr- primarily an animal-based thing. Yeah, yeah but like I, I did switch to like steak and eggs for breakfast, and I found that's like a power up. Oh yeah. 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 Well, we're all overrun with carbohydrates. Yeah, yeah, totally. And you, first of all, yeah, it's both thank, in all directions. Thank you so much for buying Twitter. <laughs> You're thank welcome. you so much. You're welcome. I'm not exaggerating when I think you changed the course of history. I really do. I really think you you made a fork in the road. We were headed down a path of censorship and yeah. of, of control of narratives that is unprecedented. Forget about what they yeah. were able to do back when they had newspapers yep. and the media under control. The, what they were doing with social media by suppressing information and yeah. when you had a combined government effort, like with yep. the, what they were doing with the laptop story. Yep. where well, you have 51 former intelligence agents saying that this is Russian disinformation. Yes. Take it off offline. Yeah. And Twitter complied. Yeah. If, we, if you didn't buy that, we wouldn't have known that. We had no yep. idea. Exactly. Uh, no, it's – I mean, the, the, the reason I bought it was because I, I'm in a pretty attuned um, since I, I was like the – most interacted with before the acquisitions that had more interactions than then. Like there's some accounts like Obama and whatever had higher follower accounts, uh, but uh, I had the most number of interactions of, of any account in the system. So um, I was very attuned to like if if they saw change if they change the system I can tell immediately. Like and, and I'm like I'm like something weird is going on here. You know like yeah. So th- there's like I, I just got increasingly uneasy. Um, and obviously, when when they deplatformed a sitting president, you know, don't de- 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 deplatform Trump, uh, that was that was just insane, um, you know. Um, and 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 the things he was posting, like he was posting things that, that like he, he was posting good things. He was saying like, hey, do we don't do not riot, don't don't do, do any destruction of property, you know, please stay calm. Like that's the kind of stuff yeah. he was posting. Yeah. And you're like, uh, what's wrong with that? That's and, and then 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 the, some people said like oh that's like some sort of dog whistle he means the opposite I'm like okay so we'll give you Trump it, it was insane like it didn't make any sense well it's completely illogical when you say it's dog whistling to tell his followers to not be violent that's yes. crazy and crazy that's crazy crazy they, don't you think they'll listen to him yeah isn't that the whole point they listened to him and created violence in the first place that's what you think that's yes, what you're exactly you're accusing him of right and then there's the fact that we know that there was agents in the crowd that were agent provocateurs that were encouraging yeah. people to do illegal shit yes we know that for a fact this yeah. is not that that was always the big alex jones type tinfoil right. hat conspiracy theory because alex proposed that back at the world trade organization protests we, <clears> i believe <throat> we're in seattle in the 90s and they sent in agent provocateurs, started smashing things, lighting things on yep. fire. Now all of a sudden a peaceful protest is no longer peaceful. Right. They move in the cops. They shut everything down. They had it set up where it was a no protest zone where you couldn't even have a pin that yeah. had the WTA. Yeah, the, the Twitter acquisition was like, it's like, man, if, if I don't do this, I think we're screwed is the issue. Well, if you it, didn't it, do it, no one else was going to do it because it yeah. wasn't a financial winner. It, it was kind of a crazy move. It's a crazy move. I mean, the, the thing was way overpriced. Um, and um, you know, like long, long term, I think uh, we can we can ultimately make it a win for investors. But boy, this is a, this is a, a this is a hard way to make a living. Well, there's also thing. a concerted effort to suppress it. There's a concerted effort well, to, yeah. with the advertisers. Well, we ha- we we had a and still have a, um, a massive advertiser boycott that was organized by a bunch of left wing NGOs. Like uh, you know, and and you, you always want, and I should have brought I should have brought my. Uh, I have a hat. Make Orwell fiction again. <laughs> I've seen that hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I should have brought. I was going to wear my. I, I should have brought my make Orwell fiction hat again. Um, but but uh, yeah, I mean it's just totally totally nuts. Um, so yeah, uh, um, and they organized and, and they pushed uh, the advertisers to boycott. Uh, so we still have like some of the boycott is 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 starting to lift, um, and uh, I think if Trump wins, we'll we'll see you know probably. A lot, most most of the boycott lived, um, but if if Kamala wins, we'll see that boycott get stronger.
Uh, and and they'll, they'll freaking shut down. <sighs> There's no way that, that uh, the sort of Kamala, Kamala puppet regime would allow X to exist. You really think that they'll be able to shut it down, though? Is yes. there a pathway to that? Uh, yes. What would they do? Um, well, I mean, they can just, they can stick the DOJ on, on you know, and say, like, and, you know, they've had this whole thing about, like, hate speech, misinformation, whatever, except that they're, they're the ones pushing the misinformation. Uh, but that doesn't stop them from filing massive, you know, lawsuits and using the DOJ. I mean, like, the DOJ has, t- uh, you know, been attacking SpaceX, for example, for not hiring asylum seekers, even though it is legal. So it's illegal to hire someone who's not an American citizen? Um, for, for, what SpaceX uh, is considered an, an advanced weapons technology. So it's, it's covered by international traffic and arms regulations because we, we make rocket technology that can be used against the United States. It's like if North, North Korea or Iran got SpaceX rocket technology, they could use that to launch nukes at America. Right. That would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really bad. <laughs> That'd be really bad. So, so we're, we're, uh, since we are in like the most extreme category of weapons technology at SpaceX, um, under uh, U.S. ITAR law, it is uh, illegal for us to hire anyone who's not a permanent resident because the presumption um, is that if they're not a permanent resident, they're going to return to their uh, home country and take the rocket technology with them. So that's and so so it's illegal for us to hire um, anyone who's not a, either has a, not a permanent. They can they can be have a green card or be a citizen. They just have to be a permanent resident of the United States. You watch the robot arms catch the rocket, and you realize like this is like one of the greatest accomplishments in the cool. history of aerospace. Like it is one of the most wildest accomplishments. Yeah. When you watch that thing come, and you see all those people cheering, and it catches it perfectly, like holy shit! Imagine how history is going to look back at the DOJ going after that company. Yeah, how and, insane and it, was a it is! Big lawsuit with a an army of lawyers like this was not like some minor thing but it doesn't even make any sense doesn't logically make any sense. like how could it even get brought to court if I, it's that's illegal what, that, that's exactly so that, that's what i mean like 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 basically if the government wants to go after you they'll just find a reason you know it's like that famous quote um from beria you know like so like stalin's like chief torturer the head of stalin's secret police and he's like chief, chief torturer truly evil human being like this guy beria uh, he, his, his one of his famous quotes was, "Show me the man, and I'll show you the crime." Right. They yeah. decided SpaceX was the target. They just figured out the crime afterwards. Which is so crazy because that's exactly what they're saying Trump is going to do if he gets into office. They're doing all the things that they accuse Trump of doing. Yeah. Openly. Openly. Yeah. I mean, the, the the sheer number of hoaxes that the Democratic Party is pushing. Over and over again, they and, and it's like, look, I understand like politicians are gonna, you know, exaggerate. They're gonna misspeak, and uh, they'll tell occasional, you know, untruths, whatever. That's the, that's how it is in politics. But when you have deliberate, concerted, repeated pushing of hoaxes, you're like, wait a second, like, come on, man, this is too, this is too far. And you're supposed to be the good guys. You're supposed, to, and you claim to be the good guys. I'm like, exactly. You're but, supposed to be the progressives. Yes, the Dems are like, oh, we're the good guys. We're the honest people. No, no, ha- hang on. You can't claim to be the good guys. You can't claim to be the honest people. If you're deliberately post... He, yeah. w- what he was saying is, the, 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 the women like it or not, I'm going to do it. Yeah. When he was saying that, they were trying to say that he was taking away women's right to choose, yes. whether women like it or not. Like, that's not what he was saying. Absolutely. He was literally talking about protecting them from dangerous people that are sneaking in through the border. Yes, exactly. Th- they'll take, like... Like not even a full sentence, like a, a half a sentence from yes. Trump, and then and then I'll push it on on every ad, every you know, every speaking event, every and it gets media. repeated on the news. Yes, this is what's crazy. They'll talk about it on these news shows, it's quote a, news shows. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, I mean, a recent one that that came up, um, which had a lot of people because a, a lot of people re- reached out to me it was like, they're, they're like, oh, Trump says he wants to execute Liz Cheney. I'm like. <sighs> That is utter bullshit. What it's not he's, what he said at all. It's not what he said at all. He, he all he said was like, it was like what he's saying is that look, if if Liz Cheney uh, um, actually had to fight, it's easy to go, it's easy to go to war. It's easy to be a warmonger if you don't have to, you know, risk dying at the front lines. Like if other like basically gets fucked up if if people are having like fancy dinners in Washington D.C. Um, while people are being slaughtered in trenches, you know, it's like. You're not feeling the pain. Exactly. You're not taking the risk. It's someone else dying. Exactly. That, that's like it's, that's that's cruel and lacking in empathy. Um, and and all Trump was saying was that it's like 
Liz Cheney would be much Liz Cheney would be much less of a warmonger because she's a huge warmonger, just like her dad. Um, if uh, she actually ha- had to go to the front lines and fight herself. And meanwhile, they're saying that he should. He's saying she should be shot. Yes, which is a total lie. And, but I had like tons of people call me this weekend yeah. saying, "Oh, Trump says he's going to put Liz Cheney in a firing squad." I'm like, that is an outrageous lie. And yeah. legacy media r- ran with that lie big time. Yeah, it's crazy. It's it's just wild. To <laughs> and to see Colbert like resisting <laughs> it with every fiber of his yeah, being. Yeah, like, what's going to happen to us? He know? was totally cock blocking the bit to the point where John Stewart got off his chair and yeah. started walking around trying to that was take wild, control. Man. Yeah, and then, good and, on and, John. And then the left tried to cancel John Stewart. Of course. Yeah. Meanwhile, he was right. He's right. And no apologies. No yeah, apologies. Yeah. yeah. And you know. The whole Fauci thing, like yeah. any criticism of Fauci, it's like uh, anti science. Fauci's a freaking demon, if you ask me. If you read RFK's book, yeah. if the real Anthony Fauci, if that's correct, if the facts are in there that's true, it's all referenced, yeah. you could find the sources. And on top of it, he's never been sued for that book, yeah. which doesn't make any sense. If he exactly. just made a bunch of lies up, he would get sued. Yes. So the guy's a monster. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think like just. Looking at the lies that he told, the way he tried he, to he, define gain of function research to Rand Paul, but, but he, he people, uh, the, the so called gain, gain of function again, a propaganda word, uh, because what is the function they're talking about? Death, right? <laughs> okay. right. <laughs> right. So, if you, if, you, if, it, if, if you actually use the right word, this is gain of function is death maximization, right? Then you're like, oh, oh, you, hey guys, should we find, uh, uh, Bioweapon research into death maximization, because that's what gain of function means. Yeah, it means that's the function. Making death. a disease so that people can get it, give it to people. Yeah, that's, what, and oh, what, by the way, just, what's that function again? Oh, the function is death. Oh, okay, so also, just call it a death maximizing virus. If you're that's doing insane. research on that, and the idea behind this research is so that we can cure these things, how come you don't have a fucking cure? <laughs> yeah, start you, with a start with a cure. Cure yeah, first, disease second. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like you guys had no strategy for yeah. dealing with it if it got out. And so you have to like make up this n- this new vaccine in like record time. I, I'm actually generally pro vaccine overall. You know, I think we should look at these things. That, that, that but that, but I, I believe in the scientific method. Yes. So, so you, you you never blanket accept anything. You never blanket accept that any any given medication or any given treatment is 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 100% good. You should always view it with some skepticism. Especially so, when you're getting the data from pharmaceutical drug companies that have like a long history of criminal they've got a vested interest. conduct. Yes, yeah. they, they, they've got a vested interest in, in the research. It, it's sort of like asking tobacco companies about, you know, whether smoking right. is dangerous. You it's know? exactly the same <laughs> I'm thing. Like, oh, according to our scientists, everything's fine. Yeah, they lied in court <laughs> forever. The same yeah. thing they did with OxyContin when yeah. they said that it wasn't addictive. Like they have a long history of being full of shit if it makes them money, and yes. that's what they do. That's yes. their business. They've literally lost multi billion dollar lawsuits yeah. up in this massive. massive. They're in the you have amazing scientists, right? You have these clinical research. This is their job. Their job is to figure out some new way to cure something, yeah. some new way to stop things, and then you have the money people. Sure. And the problem is when you have this yep. one thing that. You would assume they're only doing it to help people, and then they have this other faction that they're all just numbers people, yep. and all they give a fuck about is maximizing profits yeah. and making sure they literally have a, a, an yeah. obligation to their shareholders. Yeah. They have to make the most amount of money possible, and so they just want to push it on everybody, regard like the Vioxx scandal. There's internal emails showing mm-hmm. they knew there was going to be cardiovascular events. People mm-hmm. were going to get strokes. Yeah. And they're like, I think we're still going to do well. And they did. They made like $12 billion. They got fined seven. And fifty to 60,000 people died. Holy shit. Yeah. One of them was a friend of mine got a stroke. And died? He, yeah. No, he didn't die. Okay. He lived. But he, he was a really healthy guy. But he was, he was an athlete. not the same after his Yeah, he had knee problems. And he took Vioxx. And all of a sudden, he was this, the, the rationalization for stopping other drugs that might ruin people's lives but also can help a lot of people's lives, it doesn't make any sense. Right. You're, you're, you're ba- it's basically the same thing as censorship. You're taking away people's ability to discern what's true and not true. Yes. And you're taking away people's ability to discern what's good for you and not good for you. And the way to find that out is to have as much information as possible. Exactly. So to do research and actually to have unbiased, actual objective observers who are looking at all this stuff that give you real data. Yes. And 
the opposite of that or the counter is like if you don't do that you're empowering cartels yes that's the whole reason why they have all that money it's because it's illegal to sell these drugs in america the demand is never going away so instead of like limiting the amount of drugs now you've got toxic drugs because fentanyl and all this other yeah. shit has been because they're not pure so you're just killing people you're not saving anybody right by protecting